just want to say thank you guys so much for using code SHOCK if any of you guys did during my 30% off time. Um, if you want to pick up code VAIN, definitely thank you for using code SHOCK if you guys do use code SHOCK. I appreciate that. Alright, so what's going on guys? Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the new G Fuel flavor. This is code VAIN or type O, whatever you guys want to call it. This is the new G Fuel flavor. Um, so basically, G Fuel partnered with uh, this awesome game um, to come up with a flavor, which is pretty crazy if you think about it, the people that are behind this game and the publishers and everything and a freaking video game, G Fuel partnering, not with just be, be like people, they're actually going out and now partnering with video games to create flavors uh, in collaboration with those. So I feel like this is gonna be a really limited flavor. I don't feel like it's gonna be out for a long time and I don't know if they're gonna be uh, keep on producing it because it's kind of like a limited thing with a video game, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what this tastes like here. I did taste it at E3, uh, but it didn't have any ice in it and it wasn't made exactly how I make G Fuel. Um, so I'm really excited to get my full review and full taste test and full look at the new flavor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it guys. And here we go, we got a close up um, of the box here. We're gonna be going ahead and open it up and see what we got in here. So this is it, boys. Uh, this is what you get if you order a flavor from G Fuel. This should be the care package, um, or not the care package, what I'm talking about, the collector's box. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this baby open. All right, there we go. So we got uh, Code Vein collector's box. Uh, that is all we have on the list here. And then we've got our sticker this is actually the bahama mama sticker i don't believe i actually ever got this one so thank you very much for sending that out and then we got the box itself boys here we go all right so here we go guys this is what the box looks like itself code vein in the face of certain death we rise so taking a look at that we got the g fuel logo down here taking a look at this side so then going on this side, we got that right there. And then taking a look at this side, we got that. And then taking a look at the back, we've got that cool design. And then taking a look at the top, we have G Fuel Energy Formula. Taking a look at the box, we got the code and everything right there. And wow, so all right, boys, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, open that up. That, oh, we got the G Fuel to go. Scooper in a black. I don't believe I have black yet. So we got the G Fuel to go scooper in black here. As you guys can see, there we go. We're gonna put that up there. And then what we got in here is the shaker. Let's move that to the side for a second. And the tub, move that to the side for a second. What we have in here is the G Fuel to go scooper little card here. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the shaker cup. So this is what the shaker cup looks like, guys. If you guys want to take a look, code vein, and then it says code vein and uh, the entertainment company down there. Let's get that closer for you guys. There you go. Take a look at this. There's the back. We got G Fuel in like a burgundy. And then we got G Fuel again, like a dark red. And then inside we have G Fuel again in like um, or the, the shaker separator in a dark red as well put that to the side and let's take a look at this tub dude wow this is the first time i've seen the tub like really close up wow inspired by code vein type o take a look at that guys there we go type o code vein take a look at this nice and slow and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop it this way so you guys can read the ingredients list if you have not yet. So there we go. There we go. And there's the bottom part. And then we've also got right down here if any of you guys are interested in reading that. So then one last look at the front, top, bottom, expiration date, and boom. There we go guys, G Fuel Type O. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna see if I see any differences on the label. Um, I don't, uh, oh, the B12 is, that's interesting. We're back to that, um, we're back to the old formula, which is interesting. So the B12 on, on the Bahama, Bahama Mama is lower. 
and the code vein is back to normal. So code vein vein must have been made maybe before Bahama Mama or something. Uh, but that's interesting to see there. Um, going on other ingredients, I don't see anything like interesting or anything different. So yeah, so let's go ahead and pop this baby open, guys. I wanna. I have. I have not yet uh, smelled the powder. I didn't get to do that. That uh, E3. That would actually be pretty weird. People are like, why are you smelling the powder? <laughs> But you guys know that's usually what I do, because usually you can actually tell a lot from the G Fuel by smelling the powder, sometimes more than actually drinking it, to be honest with you guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pop this out. Oh, eh, open here. So the powder itself is white uh, with some little red and blue specks. It's so hard to describe, maybe like a mix between pomegranate and like phase berry or something. It's so phase berry y when I smell it. Like it's not a hundred, let me get my face berry here, boys. Let me get my face berry. Yeah, it's, it has a like a, it has face berry smell, but a little less sweet. I wanna, I wanna. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a taste of moo. All right, so here's the shaker cup. We got it all filled up with water, a little bit above like 16, 17 ounces of water um, with a few ice cubes in there. That's usually how I like my G Fuel. Um, then we're going to take this scooper here and we're going to get about, you know, we're not going to pack it in there. We just want about one. Oh, got some powder. That's great. But we're going to go ahead and put that in. Come out one scoop there. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to clean up this powder now. Don't worry about that later. Look at that red. Whoa. Look at that red, guys. Damn, that looks so cool. This is such a red flavor. Oh my god. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and shake this up and, um, and yeah, so I'm gonna taste it. Alright guys, here we go. Type O or code vein. Take a freaking look at that. This flavor is so red. It almost it's almost kind of like a raspberry red. It's not like a strawberry, it's not like a cherry it's more of like a raspberry red or something dude wow look at that dude that looks awesome all right let's go ahead and do this boys wow with ice and everything mm. smells so good a lot of people have been asking me you know if it's like passion fruit or like pomegranate i really i've had pomegranate but passion fruit i haven't even had that not even sure so, um, but if I were to say it's sort of like a, you know, a little bit of a sweeter phase berry, but without as much as the berry and add some pomegranate and that's what it smells like. Let's go ahead and, whew, let's go ahead and taste this boys. Mm. Oh, that is good, dude. Damn. Honestly, if I'm gonna be honest with you, it tastes like, oh my goodness, I feel like I've tasted it. Um, it really does taste very similar to a pomegranate, like pomegranate seeds with like some phase berry. If I'm gonna give you an honest, honest, like, like flavor profile, that's what I would say it tastes like. Like a phase berry, a little less berry, a little more sweet with some pomegranate seeds or something. It's good though. It's good. I mean, do I like it more than Bahama Mama? Oh, that's hard to say, boys. I don't think at the moment I'd rate it higher than Bahama Mama. Um, I definitely don't think I'm gonna rate it higher than Peach Ice Tea. But I do think it sort of ranks in those flavors, like if I were to say, it, it's in those flavors of like lemonade and like battle juice and cherry limeade. It's sort of in those flavors and like peach mango, you know, it's in, it's in that bunch. It's not like, holy crap, this is a peach iced tea where it just tastes so amazing. I could probably have this every day for the rest of my life. Um, I don't like, 
I don't think I, I like it a lot. I don't think I love it a lot, but I'm not sure because I do like it. Like, it's so hard to say, guys, when I first taste these. Um, but I definitely think if you're any sort of a berry person, or if you love phase berry, or if you love stuff like, you know, cherry limeade, or something like, if you like watermelon, or if you like stuff like black on blackberry, or grape, or green apple, or stuff like that, if you like tropical rain too, um, I, I definitely think you'll like this. Definitely. It's really good. But I mean, if I were to give it a rating right now, I'd say it is a, at least like a 7.8. It might be an eight. Um, you know, because I would probably rank like Bahama Mama at the moment after I've had it for a while. I'd give Bahama Mama like an 8.5 and I'd give Peach Ice Tea like a 9.5. The only reason I give Peach Ice Tea such a high rating is because it's been out for so long and I keep going back to it and I keep loving it. And I have been having a lot of Bahama Mama and I have been going back to it. So that's why I really like uh, Bahama Mama and I've given it like a, you know, like 8.5, but I do think this is getting close to an eight. So if you rank it, it does fall a little bit behind like Bahama Mama and Peach Ice Tea and stuff. But I definitely don't think that, um, I don't think it's above something like a lemonade or something because if you think about the versatility that a lemonade has and so many people know what that tastes like and so many people love it that's why i give it give lemonade a high rating but this um only a certain amount of people are going to like it it's you can't immediately assume what it's going to taste like um so it's really hard um so that's why i'm not giving it like a huge huge rating but it's definitely good. It's not a bad flavor by any means. Definitely going to be having it for a while. And I'll definitely do a follow-up review or let you guys know what I'm thinking on Twitter or something in a while. But without further ado, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, so thank you very much, guys, and peace out.